I was absolutely speechless when my course leader phoned me up and he said, I've been naughty, I've nominated you for something. <laughs> I went, uh, okay. And he said, yes, yeah, so you're getting an honorary master's. I'm like, really? Why? <laughs> he just said, because you've, you've done so much with your sport and we're so proud of you. So it's wonderful. So it was, it was quite tricky. Um, I learnt time management, which was appalling, until I started rowing. And then I had to learn how to manage my time and be able to do both things to the best of my ability. Um, and granted, I was a bit more sort of keen on the whole sporting idea for a while. And I was, didn't work hard enough on my degree, but I got a, sort, you know, a short, sharp um, reminder when one of my grades wasn't particularly good. And I picked that back up and got on with both of them to achieve what I wanted to achieve. I'm in the legs, trunk and arms mixed coxed four, which in adaptive or disabled rowing means I have a disability but I can still use my entire body with some limitations, and that being my eyesight. Mixed, as in there are two boys and two girls in the crew. Coxed, there's somebody that shouts at us and tells us what to do. I rowed at the World Championships in Eton, Dorney Lake, um, in 2006, and just having thousands of people yelling, GB, GB, just gives you so much gives you an extra something that you didn't know you had.